Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive on a Mac OS X. Alright, so the first thing you guys need is a USB flash drive with a capacity of at least 8 gigabytes. And the second thing, as you can see on my desktop, is you need a Windows 10 ISO image. If you purchase Microsoft Windows 10, you can download this on the Microsoft website under your profile under Purchase History. The instructions to download this ISO file are very simple. They are on the website. Just go to Microsoft.com, log into your profile, go to your downloads and purchase history, and it's going to be right there. So as long as you have the USB flash drive and the Windows ISO file, we're good to go. And another very important requirement is before you dive into this procedure, make sure the USB flash drive that you're going to use to burn the ISO image onto is not plugged into your Mac's USB port. If it is plugged in, make sure you remove it right now. I am going to tell you when to reinsert it so we can complete this procedure with no problem. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the search, the spotlight search, and type in terminal on the top, and then you're going to see this window right here. Just tap on it, and this is going to launch the terminal. So the first command we want to type in here is called disk util space list which is going to give you a list of all the hard drives attached to your PC. You want to make sure that you look at these numbers over here. On the top here, it says slash dev slash disk zero and slash dev slash disk one. So Mac names these things as disk, disk zero, disk one, and so on and so forth. So the next thing I want you guys to do is to grab your USB flash drive and attach it to your USB port. Once it is attached to your USB port, I want you guys to rerun the same exact command. This is going to allow us to identify the name of the USB flash drive. I'm going to show you guys how. So type in disk util list, enter. And as you can see, this time we have disk 0, disk 1, and disk 2. So the number assigned to the USB flash drive that we just attached is disk two okay so write that down somewhere we have to remember that the next uh, command to type is going to be disk util unmount disk and just make sure that every single command that you type is case sensitive so if I'm using a big D you have to use a big D if I'm using a small uh, case K then that's what you want to do everything has to be exactly the same as I type Okay, so type in disk util unmount capital D disk and then type in slash dev slash disk 2 and that is in fact the USB flash drive. Okay, press enter and that's going to unmount the USB flash drive which is what we want to do and the next thing we are going to do is we're going to execute a command. So it's going to be sudo space dd if equals. Now here it's very important that you guys understand that you can grab the ISO file. In my case, I have it sitting on the desktop. You may have it in another folder. You can open that folder, and all you have to do is, you see that tiny square right here? All you do is you grab this ISO file and drag and drop it right here. And that's going to paste the information required to complete this command. Okay, so the command is not fully complete yet, so we're going to type in a little bit more. So come back to the terminal window after you drag and drop the ISO file and continue typing. Type in off equals slash dev slash disk 2. And again, disk 2 is the USB flash drive. And then put in space BS equals 1M. Press enter. It's going to ask you for the password that you use to log into your MacBook Pro. So let me type in mine. Press enter, and that's going to start the procedure. The procedure may take 10, 20, 30 minutes. Once it is complete, you have to do one final thing, and I'm going to show you guys what it is. All right, so once the procedure is complete, you're going to see under where you typed your password. It's going to tell you the records in, records out, and it's going to tell you the complete time it took to process this um, procedure. Now, 
that's 2,437 seconds. That's almost 40 minutes. So just be aware that this procedure is going to take time once you press that enter button after the last command. Now, after everything is done, after you're at this point, there's one final command you have to do, and that is disk util eject, and then you're going to type in slash dev slash disk2. Again, that is your USB flash drive. Press enter. That's going to eject your USB flash drive. You can remove the USB flash drive and put it back into your system to make sure that it now has the Windows files in it by exploring the contents of the USB flash drive. As a matter of fact, let me remove the USB flash drive and replug it and see what we see on the computer. Okay, so as you can see, I just plugged in the USB flash drive that we just burned with Windows 10, and this is what popped up. If I tap on it, it's going to show me all the contents, and that looks like what it should be, so we are, in fact, good to go. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment down below, and give me a thumbs up if this video helped you out, and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Saki out.